Good morning. I'm so glad to be with you this morning. I went out collecting some leaves. What colors do you see there? What do you see, Abby? Red for sure. Yeah, any other colors? What do you see, Audrey? Yellow. Yeah, Tara heard that one. She saw that one too, yellow. She said yellow. I like that. And orange, yeah. And there's a couple green ones still there, right? Yeah. Have you been noticing the leaves? Yeah. 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 So, um, where, is there anything, any special places you've noticed that they're that they're super beautiful right now? Yeah. Where have you seen them, Audrey? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're still in the trees. Yeah, absolutely. But like, have you been like driving anywhere or yeah. walking anywhere where you've yeah. seen them? Yeah, where? On the sides of the mountain. Yeah, like stand up on the cliff or something, and you see all the trees. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, when you're on the side of the mountains. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So, I see them the very The variance of color, she said. Somebody is learning their vocabulary. Praise the Lord. Amen. I love it. So I've been noticing them too. I mean, it's hard not to notice the leaves this year, right? Aren't they just like, I mean, I just, I'll be driving down the road and I almost want to like jam on the brakes because it's just so beautiful, right? Like, I just like want to stay right there. I look on the side of the mountain and just, just stay there for a little while, you know? And it's one thing to notice the colors of the leaves. But did you know that in God's word, he says that every part of creation is telling of his glory. That means that everything that God made helps us to see him, right? Can leaves talk? No, of course they can't talk, right? Why would they talk, right? That's not how they communicate, right? They show us God by giving us this beautiful color, right? The stars can't talk, but have you ever seen them on a dark night? Yes. Oh my, what, what? Every night. Every night, but, but how, yeah, but ever have you seen them like where, where you've been, where it's really dark? Like maybe you went camping and there wasn't so much light. Oh, no, 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 it can't be cloudy to see the good stars, right? To see, to see the stars so, so far away. Or have you ever been out playing in the snow? Yeah. You ever did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and did you ever, like, it was still snowing and you and you caught a snowflake maybe on the tip of your finger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, did you ever look really close? What do they look like? Stars. They kind of look like stars. Do you know something about snowflakes? What do you know, Parker? I think you know some stuff. Do you know? Do you know that every snowflake, what? What did you want to help out, Spencer? What do you know about? Every single snowflake is different. When they make a big pile, they all look the same. But if you examine them really closely, they're all different, right? God made each and every snowflake, and they too tell us about him, even though they can't talk. Every single part of creation tells us about the glory of God. So my message to you this morning is really simple. When you're out looking at those leaves, or playing in the snow, or even out jumping in puddles, don't just say, yeah, this is fun, or this is beautiful. Stop right there and say, Jesus, thank you. I praise you because you're amazing and you made this just for us to enjoy, just to bring him glory. You gotta practice, right? You gotta spend time saying, I'm gonna stop right here and give God the glory. I wanna pray for you. Lord Jesus, I thank you that every single part of your creation helps us know about you. God, thank you for the beautiful autumn leaves that are filling up the mountainsides. The next time we're riding in the car or out for a walk, please help us, God. Just stop right there and praise you and thank you and tell somebody else about you and invite them into the time of praise. Lord, I pray for each of these kids. I pray that if they don't know you yet in their heart, that today would be the day that they would seek forgiveness for their sins 
and give their heart to you, Lord Jesus, and us grown-ups to God, that today would be the day of salvation so that we can praise your name forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.